He is known for being an English philosopher who specialized in epistemology, philosophy of science, and moral philosophy. He is recognized for his extensive and unbiased examinations of arguments in his notable works, including Scientific Thought and The Mind and Its Place in Nature. His name is C. D. Broad. In the world of philosophy, there are thinkers who leave a lasting impact on the field. One such luminary was Charlie Dunbar Broad, better known as C. D. Broad. Born in England, Broad was a polymath, delving into various branches of philosophy and even exploring the philosophical aspects of psychical research. Broad's contributions to philosophy were far-reaching, but one essay in particular stood out, Determinism, Indeterminism, and Libertarianism in Ethics and the History of Philosophy. In this seminal work, he introduced the concepts of occurrent causation and non-occurrent causation. These terms would go on to shape contemporary debates on libertarian free will, forming the basis for the distinction between agent-causal and event-causal perspectives. Broad's essay showcased his thorough and dispassionate examination of arguments, a trait that defined his approach to philosophy. Through works like Scientific Thought and the Mind and its Place in Nature, he sought to unravel the complexities of the human mind and its relationship to the natural world. Broad's intellectual prowess and dedication to his craft made him a respected figure in the philosophical community. C. D. Broad, a renowned philosopher, dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. After completing his fellowship at Trinity College, he seized the opportunity to become an assistant lecturer at St. Andrews University. His tenure there lasted until 1920 when he was offered a prestigious position as a professor at Bristol University. During his time at Bristol, Broad's intellectual prowess and dedication to his craft became evident. In 1923, he returned to Trinity as a lecturer, further solidifying his reputation as a leading figure in philosophy. It was during this period that he was appointed as the Sidgwick Lecturer at Cambridge University, a position he held from 1931 to 1933. Broad's contributions to academia extended beyond his lectures and professorships. He served as the president of the Aristotelian Society from 1927 to 1928 and again from 1954 to 1955. His commitment to exploring the depths of human consciousness led him to become the president of the Society for Psychical Research in 1935 and 1958. Throughout his career, Broad's philosophical inquiries sought to uncover the nature of morality and the complexities of the human experience. His work resonates with individuals grappling with the existential questions of life. Broad's teachings remind us to delve deep into our own beliefs and values, encouraging us to critically examine our actions and the impact they have on society. The legacy of C.D. Broad's philosophy continues to shape contemporary thought. His dedication to understanding the human condition serves as an inspiration for those seeking meaning and purpose in their daily lives. By engaging with Broad's ideas, we can navigate the complexities of existence and strive towards a more enlightened and compassionate world. In his essay, Determinism, Indeterminism, and Libertarianism, C.D. Broad, a prominent philosopher, delves into the concept of free will and causation. He argues for non-occurrent causation, suggesting that our actions are literally determined by the agent or self. According to Broad, the agent can be seen as a substance or continuant, not merely a product of external factors. Broad proposes that while our efforts may be completely determined, their causes do not stem from prior events. Instead, he introduces the idea of continuance, new series of events that originate from the agent itself. These continuance are essentially causa sui, existing independently of external influences. This perspective challenges the traditional notion of causation, suggesting that our actions can arise from within us rather than being predetermined by external factors. One of Broad's notable contributions is his formulation of what philosopher Peter Van Inwagen refers to as the consequence argument. This argument serves as a defense of incompatibilism, the belief that free will and determinism are fundamentally incompatible. Broad's version of the argument, according to Van Inwagen, is particularly compelling and thought-provoking. Broad's philosophy on free will and causation has practical implications for our daily lives. It invites us to question the extent to which our actions are influenced by external factors versus our inherent agency. It challenges the notion that our choices are solely determined by past events or circumstances, emphasizing the role of the self in shaping our actions and decisions. Understanding Broad's perspective on free will can help us navigate the complexities of decision-making and personal responsibility. It encourages us to reflect on the factors that influence our choices and consider the possibilities of self-determination. Broad's philosophy offers an alternative framework for understanding human agency, empowering individuals to recognize the inherent capacity for autonomy and choice within themselves. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? 
Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.